Reason number 127 why being an infectious disease epidemiologist makes you a Debbie Downer. Toilet plumes. <laughs> Have you ever used the public restroom, one without a lid, done your business, flushed it, and it sounds like a jet engine? Sometimes you see those specks flying off, and have you ever wondered how high can those specks actually go? Well, these folks from Colorado a few years back analyzed this using laser lights and camera to look at the aerosol plumes after we flush using commercial toilets that we often see here in the United States. And it's actually kind of a nifty setup they use. You can see that they pointed a laser in these cameras and they're able to use this toilet in this laboratory setting to see how high these plumes are actually going to go. What do they find? Well, the highest plume is 7.5 seconds after flushing, and that plume rises upwards to 1.3 meters tall, you know, including where the toilet is sitting, so it can actually rise up pretty high. They even provide very close-up images of this laser light aerosol plume that they were able to measure, and it kind of gives you an idea of what could be contained into this plume. There are limitations like any other study, too. This study only used water in the toilets. They didn't have any solids, and they also didn't measure actual pathogen spread. But the results of the study can be really useful and important to actually look at infection control practices both public and in healthcare. In healthcare when you think about it we have a lot of immunocompromised patients in the hospital and it's important to keep those bathrooms and those patients rooms clean because they're doing high-risk procedures. So because of studies like this uh, you'll always find me rushing out of a bathroom stall after flushing the toilet especially in these public restrooms.